Hey guys, Zach here with Racing Sim Tools, and today I want to show you one of the new features that we have in RST, and that is the data database for ACC. So this is a feature that we've added in partnership with Neil Nojos. Um, he is the ESRO ACC champion for this past season, 2019-2020. Um, what he's essentially doing right now is getting data from various cars at various tracks and we're uploading it to RST, um, to our servers. Um, he's recording videos that we're putting onto YouTube and he quickly just makes a setup. Usually it's not a very complex setup, um, but it's a setup that you can download to try to replicate the times that he's putting up. And the reason that this is a really nice feature is a lot of times when you're driving, um, you, you really feel like you're on the limit. Um, you really don't understand how someone could go faster than what you're already currently doing. Um, so when you can analyze data from someone that's much faster than you, you can actually see where you're losing time by looking at time slip. You can look at inputs like the throttle input, the braking input, steering input. Um, so there's a lot of different things that you can look at. Um, and we'll have some videos later down the road on how um, and what graphs to look at um, to help you identify where you're losing time. Um, but for this video, I just want to show you guys how to get into the database um, and load up some laps. Um, so RST is already pulled up here. Um, when you first pull it up, you're going to want to come to this drop down in the top right corner up here and select a game. Um, here you can see I have various games. Um, if you don't have a game, it'll say buy and that'll take you to the store. Um, but for the, the database, we are only supporting ACC at this time. So to um, get uh, to pull up, you need to click on ACC at the drop down menu. And then if you have the um, data subscription add-on subscription, it's $3 right now. Um, it's going completely to Nils um, since he's the one doing the data. Uh, he has plans once we fill out the database a little bit more to up the price to $5. Um, so try to get the early bird price to help support um, your, you know, your ESRO um, professional sim racers. Um, they're doing a lot of hard work to get this data for you guys. Um, so try to support them if you can. Um, but if you do have that license, you just come to file and you'll see there's an option here called data database. So if I click that, it'll go ahead and load the database. It kind of takes a second or two just because it's getting the data from our server. Um, but you'll see here I'll have um, the different um, laps that we have pulled up. So right now we're mostly have Numbering and Barcelona um, done. Nils is working with um, you know his community to figure out what tracks, what cars people want. So if you do have a preference, reach out to him on his Discord. I know he's trying to help you guys and get the ones that you guys need. Um, but right now, Nubering in Barcelona, you can see at the top, um, the basic interface is we have some filters. So if there's a specific car that you want to look up, for example, maybe the Porsche or the Nissan, you can just type in here and it's going to filter that. And then it, the second one to the right is going to be the track. So I can type in Barcelona um, or Nuber and you'll see it filters it in real time for us, which is kind of nice. Um, it's not that big of an issue right now because there's not a lot of data. Um, but once we have all the different cars and um, track combos, there's something like 350 combinations. Um, it's going to be really nice to have. Um, but looking at the interface here, you can see each row is essentially um, a track car combo. Um, you'll see on the left hand side is the track and then the car, the lap time that was set, the conditions. Um, so these are really important to um, when you're practicing um, in ACC environmental conditions and track conditions. Um, can make a huge difference in lap time. So you want to, when you're using this data, you want to make sure that you're going to replicate these settings uh, in your test session. Um, so you can see Nils, um, he did a 27C track temperature, 23C ambient, and then he set that track grip to optimum. And you'll see there's three buttons here. Um, one's to download the data into RST, so you can look at the, the, the lab data. Um, the second one is to download the setup. The, that way you can have the same setup that Nils used to collect the data. Um, that way, you know, you're not there. We're kind of reducing the variables here. Um, we're trying to make it so that you can try to improve and get to that same delta that Nils got to. And then the video here, which is going to take you to Nils's YouTube video um, channel where he's been uploading all of these hot laps. Um, just so you can see what that visual picture looks like um, in, in addition to the data. 
Um, so here, um, we're just going to find um, the Lexus at Nuber. Um, I'm just going to go ahead um, and let's say I wanted to look at this data. I could just click on this download button. You're going to see a um, kind of a loading screen. It's just telling you that it's loading the data. And then you can see um, after I've done, I can close this window and I now have the data here. If I click on one of these laps, um, we've already configured the car parameters for you guys. So they're already filled in for the, the setup that Nails did. Um, and you have the data here. Um, so normally you would, you know, go do laps and compare yourself to this data. Um, but I haven't done any laps, so I'm just going to download another setup real quick from the database. Uh, we'll do the Audi this time, which is a much quicker car at this track. Um, and it'll take a little bit longer. It's a little bit more data. Um, we have four laps in this one. Uh, but you can see here, I have two rows of check boxes. Um, the one on the far left, that's your selected lap. So most of the graphs on RST, they're looking at setup. And we don't want to include, you know, two different laps because there's a lot of signals. Uh, some have four or more signals. So that would be eight per graph, which would be kind of hard to read. Um, but for the driver analysis, um, we do want to compare these things. Um, you're, you know, you're comparing your inputs to nils. Um, so that's the second checkbox is the baseline. Um, so if you click one for the selected, we'll click um, the Audi as the baseline here. You can see one's blue, one's red. Um, if I now come to the driver tab, um, and you can see essentially at the top here, there's uh, a main tab. And then for each main tab, there's a sub tab here, a sub drop down with different options. One of the first things that you're probably going to want to come to is overview. Um, overview is just going to give you a really high overview of what the differences between Nils data and your data are. Um, the top one is time slip, which is going to show you where you're gaining time and where you're losing time against Nils. So this is a really good graph to come look at. Um, usually when you're practicing, you want to focus on, you know, one or two corners to continue to improve. Um, so this will help you identify which corners you're losing the most time in. That way you can focus your practice. Um, the second graph here is your speed trace, um, throttle, brake, steering, and then gearing. So again, this is just a really high overview of all the different graphs. Um, you can, you know, click on the graph, drag the cursor. It's going to tell you where the data is at. Um, but again, we have all these other options, um, throttle, throttle acceptance, throttle speed, braking, coasting, crossover, steering, a driving line, time slip, and shifting. So all of these graphs, all these sub tabs have their purpose, but that's how you can load data um, using the data database um, in RST in partnership with uh, Nils Nohos. Um, so I hope you guys check it out. Um, if you guys like the feature, please uh, like the video or let us know in the Discord. Um, until then, have a good day.